Hey everybody, so um, if you've just started doing planet mapping and exploring in Elite Dangerous, um, you'll see that there's lots of geological symbols, or signals I should say, um, and that's like the volcanism is basically one of the main things that's interesting. And so uh, here's an example, right? You've got iron magma on this planet right here, high metal content world, a little bit higher than Earth gravity, but no big deal. Um, so let's go take a look at that. So you either just came in to the planet near and distant so you can get the scan, or you use the detailed system scanner to do it, right? Well, once you get there, you need to get close enough to use your surface scanner. And with the surface scanner, you will need to launch your probes. So seven. So that's going to be one in the front, one in the back, and one, two, three, four, that'll probably get it. Let's see how I did. You need to hit 90% to get the targets. There you go. And I managed to hit the efficiency bonus. I got 7 in 7. You can hit more. You just don't get the bonus. Alright, so now I've got 9 geological signals. And I'm just switched mode off of the discovery so I don't have the stupid grid. Actually, can I do... No. I switch. Okay. I was just trying if I could uh, just switch off of the discovery scanner and it'd get rid of that stupid blue thing. But nope. Alright, so I'll get a little closer. And there we go. I'm looking for a geological signal. I want one that's sunny side up. I don't know if there are any. In this case. Uh, no. Well, let's try that one. It's right at the edge. That one might be, after all. Or that one. Well, these two probably are best bet. not. It'll be dark side. Whatever. Just hoping to get a light one. One in the light. Guess I could come back in a couple hours. <laughs> I don't remember what the orbital period of this place was. It didn't actually work. Actually, I'm kind of curious. What is the orbital period of you? Um, 2.5 days. So... I'd have to wait a couple of... Uh, well, actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I'd have to wait an hour or two. Something like that. Anyway, let's get in there. Now, this one's, like I said, a little over one Earth gravity. It's like 1.31, I think I said. So, I have to be a little bit more careful here then you would have to be if you had you know like a point one gravity moon this is a bigger planet and it doesn't really matter yet But right when you come out out of your glide, that's where it really starts to matter. I'll probably want to have no throttle when I pop out of my glide. First, I have to get into my glide, which is any time now I'm about to hit the route. Right.
There we go. Here's my different though. So I'm gonna glide. Turn on the night vision. And yeah, I'm gonna pull the throttle down to under the green. Actually, maybe all the way down. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's have the throttle at zero. I want to come out. So we're just eight kilometers out. Let me turn on my headlight. We'll be able to use it for a while though. A little faster. I don't need light. It's magma, it lights itself up. Make sure I do that. Look at that. That's a good screenshot. Alright. We need those back. And go back to let me go to one of them that's lit up. Alright, so I'll stop here. I'm on my composition scanner. And I had to go back to discovery mode. And let's scan it. Alrighty. So, iron, magma, I guess that's silicon, I don't know why it's not showing it yet. I'm not in a reg row, reg row, reg row. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, so there you go. Iron magma lava spot. And what else do we have in here? Iron magma, iron magma, silicate vapor geysers. That'll be a fun next one. Alright, so there you go, iron magma. <laughs>